of you have asked me why Iran, Chelsea, why this movement, why Iran, why? And I have a better question. Why not Iran? I don't think one need explicitly know Iran to know the world Iran made. I often go to Bosnia. It's one of my favorite places in the world. And as you walk through the capital of Bosnia, Sarajevo, when you go through the Bashcharsia, you will see Iranian motifs in the artwork. You will see it in the plates and some of the clothes. But why is Persian artwork sitting in the middle of Europe? Well, the Turks ruled Bosnia for 500 years, but you'll see the same motifs in Northern India. So what is Persian art that is sitting in the middle of Europe doing near the Bay of Bengal? And the answer simply is that the artery between these two places is Iran. The heart and lungs and arteries and blood vessels of our world are and have always been Iran. Twenty-five percent of the modern Turkish language is Persian. And that's not shocking news to anyone here. We have Azeri Iranians in the audience. We have Turkmen in the audience. We had an Azeri speaker. Hello, Gugush. Um, <laughs> given the geography of Azerbaijan and Turkey relative to Iran, it's not shocking that these two places would share words. But it might be shocking if I told you how loan words come to pass in foreign languages. In Swahili, the word for book is kitab, which is Arabic. Why is Arabic sitting in a Bantu language? Well, the first time that the Bantu peoples of the coast of East Africa ever interacted with the concept of a bound book with paper and pages and ink was from the Arabs. Because written language is very young. We've only had written language for 4,000 years. We've been a species for 200,000 years. It blew their minds. It was something they'd never seen before. The parameters by which they understood reality were no longer adequate, and they needed a new word, so they took this word. So now, when I tell you that thousands upon thousands upon thousands of words in Turkish and in Urdu and in Arabic and in Bosnia Bosnian and Hindi are Persian words. It's because when people interact with this land, you make their reality bigger. That's what you do. You make the world bigger. The world is better with you in it. And for 44 years, the Islamic Republic tried to make you small. They said to the Baluch, be less Baluch. They said to the Kurds, be less Kurdish. And they said to the Lures, be less Lure. And they said, Azari Turkmen, stop speaking your language. And what did they get in response? They got this revolution instead. Because they may burn and break your bodies, but they could never burn and break Iran. As much as your hearts break now, and as much as it hurts, as much as you cry, and as much as it's hard to go on, I'm telling you now, Iran, these 44 years of the Islamic Republic will wash away, and this will be nothing but a bad dream you had once. Because what is 44 years when compared to 3,000? The people of Iran have come to take their inheritance. And there is not one single being on earth that can subjugate this nation. The people of Iran have come to assert their rightful place as an inspiration and a light and an engine of inspiration and ingenuity to humankind that they have always been since the dawn of humankind. 
and they will not stop until it is so. Zindabad, Iran. Thank you.